thought I should do this. Leave this. I don't know. There's no blueprint. It seemed prudent. There's a rhythm to the day and I love you and uh, and I get that we can roll out snacks and games, but there's so many headlines. There's so many stories. And we're just getting started. You don't know that. You're just a baby. You're wide eyed and content enough to have your mom and me home all the time. You crush me at Uno, kiddo. Undefeated champion of the world. And I like reading to you. I'm worried. That cough that you had on your last day of school. Uh, hasn't gone away. You know, all day I beg you to blow your nose and then wash your hands. Tucking you in, you asked, uh, when can you see your friends? We had that video conference, remember? It was fun. We blew out the candles for Sophie. We had an Oreo and she had a cupcake and, and then we all sang. I can't make you stop crying yourself to sleep. Your mother tries to anchor you, but we, we don't. Little man, I spend less and less time in this space where I feel safe every day, you know? I wanna fight. And I wanna curl into a ball and, and I wanna cry. And I want to laugh. And fall apart. But I read you stories. And we stack blocks. And, and we play Legos. And, and I feel the walls closing in. And what if they close all the way? <laughs> oh. 
what if what if the trap door opens and it takes me out what if oh honey What if the hole opens and it takes you from me? And how's my favorite grandson? <laughs> Grandma? Oh, look how handsome you got. I'm glad you got the chin from my side of the family. How can you? Your granddad's side? They all look like turtles. <laughs> I haven't been sleeping. I can fix a carburetor. You think I can't figure out a new video conferencing platform? But Grandma, you're, uh... uh... Dead? Well, yeah. Uh, uh, Did you ever get a postcard? Sure. You know how there's a picture on the front and writing on the back? Yeah. Well, the, the dead part is the picture on the front. But a message lives on. That's poetic. The trouble is nobody reads cursive anymore. That's the least of our problems. Oh, you can trace an erosion of basic human decency to bad penmanship. <laughs> How's your handwriting? Um, oh, <laughs> did I teach you anything? You taught me to dance. I did, didn't I? Swing and Lindy Hop. I forgot about that. Summer vacation. Grandpa put on Glenn Miller and you taught me to leave. Oh, come dance with me now. No, I. Uh, it's tough out there, Grandma. Uh, how, how could we dance? I don't know. <laughs> People have always just figured it out, you know, day by day. I can't. I'm, I'm leaving a letter for my son. My great grandson? Oh, show me a picture. <sighs> Oh. He's seven. Oh, <laughs> he's cute as a button. <laughs> oh, he has your eyes. So, uh, Grandma, if uh, you could be going, I, I, I was just going to oh. wrap this up. Let me get your grandpa on the call. No. No! I, I, don't, I don't have time for... This better be important. I was gutting a fish. Hi, Grandpa. Look who it is. <laughs> a lumberjack. Those are some whiskers. No, it's Cory, Pa. All grown up. I know that. Just taking the vinegar. How are you, son? Not great. I lived in a foxhole for a month. Is it worse than that? I mean, I can stream shows. What, dear? There's this one about a Tiger King that everyone's talking about. Mm -hmm. That sounds fun. <laughs> but I can't get anyone in my family to watch it with me. Do you have enough food? I used to make a cake out of saltine crackers. I think so. We spend a lot of time ordering supplies. Yeah, well, 
It's time to get creative. Time to hunt. Hunt what? Turkeys, squirrels. What do they got there? Where? Suburbia? <laughs> you must have a deer, raccoons, the stray pigeon. I think what your grandpa is suggesting is now's the time to be resourceful. You know, to make do. I did a few push-ups today. That's right. Rations only annoy the weak mind. And remember that birthday I darned your socks? Now that was a treat. I miss my friends. I miss work. I miss people. When I was a boy, I had an iron bicycle. Your grandpa likes to remind us. I had a shepherd named Coco who could speak real words of English. He's still a little... You know. Grandpa. I'm scared. Minute by minute, son. The table's set. Pull the tablecloth out from under. Not my good china. No. What are you... Oh, it's his parlor trick. You remember? Your grandmother's Wedgwood. Crystal stemware, all the niceties. After the war, we, we went all in. Big credenza, huge Davenport. What? Let's put all the good stuff on the table on your grandmother's best white cloth. <laughs> no, please don't. I never heard this story. No, oh, he was trying to make it better. Pun, not now, please. Make what better? Your grandpa thought if he could, if he could teach her magic, it might cheer her up. Who? Your mother's little sister. She was four. Measles. Fever. She couldn't catch her breath. Put all the china out on the table. All the stemware. I read it in a book, Household Magic. Fever, dry cough. Oh, poor thing. Make sure the tablecloth is flat on the table. She said she had a real bad sore throat. The tablecloth should be flush with the end opposite from which you're pulling. Bright red eyes. Let the cloth hang well over the edge. My little porcelain doll. Her skin raised red spots. Arrange the dishes on the table. Maybe some fruit. In the rash, spread down her arms, her, her legs, her middles. She cries. Grasp the tablecloth with two hands. Hey, sweet girl. Watch Daddy. Fever 103. Bunch the tablecloth up to the table's edge. Fever 104. 105.8. Dear God. Yank the tablecloth downward and step back from the table. Then what? She. Our I never knew that my mom had a sister. It was the message on the back of the postcard. It was too hard to write. I don't know what to do now. Acceleration depends on the force acting on an object and the mass of the object itself. She was so tiny, she didn't have a fighting chance. A ball bounces off the ground because it hits the floor with momentum. That pushes it up. I don't understand. See the next minute. And the one after. Just keep moving forward. And keep 
dancing. Hi. My mom said I should try and see how you're doing. How are you doing, Grandpa? Honey, was there a milkman you didn't tell me about? Grandpa Cory, my mom says you could help me with my science homework. Can you? No. Oh, he has your eyes. Oh, and your chin. Hi, cutie! <laughs> And, uh, hi? We're studying the laws of motion. Who said you? My dad. He lives? He lives. So can you help me or not? Come on, Pa. Supper's ready. Oh, it's good to see you both. Bye for now. Remember, son, set the china on the table, the good stemware. Hold the tablecloth and... I have a quiz in the morning. Okay. Okay. Uh... Uh... I think this is still true. When you come in. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. 